Hey everyone, it's Jolt here. I am super excited to introduce to you MindMap Builder version 3. I have tons of new functionality such as folding and unfolding of nodes. Indeed, you can fold and unfold nodes at various levels of detail. So you can completely fold or you can completely unfold a node. I have lots of other new features as well. I believe that MindMap Builder has now graduated to become a fully functional mind mapping tool, 100% integrated with Obsidian MD. Now, the way I'm going to walk through this presentation today is I'm not going to go into the details of how you install and how you launch MindMap Builder. I'm also not going to go into the very detail of features. I'm going to give you a quick overview if you're interested and if you want to support further development of MindMap Builder, I created a course that you can buy for a few dollars and I'll talk about that in the end. But right now, let's just jump into the presentation. So the basic features are essentially the same. You can build mind maps. I think there is a big new improvement with the input interface. So now with the tab button on the floating input, I can move between the buttons. And if I press enter, then there's an additional row of buttons that appear. And this is great if you forget the shortcut key, because now there are many, many features and many shortcuts. So this just helps you navigate and use mind map builder better. So I think that's a pretty nice new feature. Let me hide that. Now, if we move on, I'm not going to talk about creating a map. I'll show you two examples in a little bit of time. Navigating the map. Again, we are not going to talk about that in detail today, but you can see that I am navigating this map with my keyboard and there are many features to support that. I am going to talk a little bit about hotkey configuration now. So here, if I open the site panel, the mind map builder site panel, then under hotkey configuration, you can see that there are now many more hotkeys than before. And I think the real important bit you need to pay attention is these icons, the keyboard, the globe, and the Excalibur icon. You can set different scopes for hotkeys. And that means that, for example, I don't need to select the input box to navigate the map and I can add other features that only require Excalibur to be active. Because there are many, there are so many hotkeys, I thought that this scoping helps avoid conflicts with other Obsidian hotkeys and other stuff. So this way you can manage how you want to use Mind Map Builder. I'm going to also show you when to use global hotkeys in just a second. Now, if you look at advanced features, I think the advanced feature first about content integration, this should be familiar. So this is this story about your ability to add different type of embeddables. I talk about that in my previous video. I'm going to link it here so you can watch that and you can understand it in detail. And of course, in the course, I'm going to talk about this in detail. Essentially, you can add videos, web pages or markdown documents or sections of documents. I think that's pretty cool. Now, a new amazing feature is how you can copy mind map builder and it's going to copy not only the structure like this but it's also going to copy the cross links and later on you'll see that we now have boundaries as well it's going to copy that as well so if i press copy here and if i come to my scratch pad and i'm just going to press paste here then you can see that the map was imported including the boundary and including any of the cross links that were here in fact what has happened if i flip this around and just paste it in here then now the generated markdown will include cross links to 
block references within the markdown bulleted list itself and it's also going to include if something has a boundary then it's going to include the tag boundary that's going to show that that node has a boundary so the markdown document that's created when you copy your map will include these the the content will not include the additional images you add so images that are added as nodes are going to be included but images that are added separately as decorations like this one those are not going to be in the exported markdown content but again i can show you some tricks around this in the course pdf plus plus integration i am absolutely excited about this one let me show you how it works so i'm going to open a pdf document here on the side i'm going to hide this here and let's open my map builder right there and i'm going to scroll down to this section here let's select the root node and i'm taking notes on this document and let me show you how i can do that and you're of course you can see i'm not moving the mouse over to my map builder i can select different parts and i can just simply add elements to the map and as i am highlighting my text as i read this so let's highlight this text i can just simply add that text into my map right here now the benefit of all of this is these are of course now links that take me to the relevant parts of the document and these are not screenshot images but they are actually images that come from here in fact everything that is available in xcolidraw in terms of handling these embeds are available so i can in fact change the cropping of this image and you can see it changes in pdf plus plus as well so all these good features are there but yeah i think i now have a pretty robust workflow for creating a mind map as i'm reading a pdf document let's clean this because the next feature i want to show you is also super exciting so you can now import a markdown document structure as a mind map so how does it work if i come here and i add a new node i created a sample document so i created this sample with chat gpt the benefits of mind mapping it's yeah it's this document right here let's convert this into a mind map so the way i do that <clears throat> is first of all i'm going to add this document so here's the benefits of mind mapping and you can see here this is the alias so i'm going to click that and press enter so the central node is here and this is of course now a link that takes me to this document if i open these buttons there's a new feature here import headings from linked file as child nodes you can do this with the root node or you can do this with any of the child nodes as well and when i click on the button then the structure of the document was imported now this is already i think pretty nice of course each of these will take me to the relevant section in the document so you can see here i can navigate the document like this but i think what's super cool is for example let's take this node right here i'm going to edit this node and if i put an exclamation mark here I can convert this into an embeddable like that and if now i click on my embeddable i can actually edit the node right here and i am still here in my mind map and if i want to convert this back i can again edit this and i can just place the original link there and then i have my node back as it was before i think this is a super powerful way for organizing and reading and editing your documents you have a mind map view of your document and you can 
zoom in and edit various parts. You can do it either by clicking and opening the relevant part of the document, or you can do it by adding embeddables. Now we have a set of new grouping features and you already saw the boundary. I think that's a pretty nice solution. I have a support for decorations. Decorations are icons that are grouped icons or any other text with a node. And when I'm moving these around, and this is going to be a next feature, but I want to show you already that I am actually able to move nodes around like this. So you can see here, I'm moving the node only with my keyboard. When I move nodes around, then it will move the decoration with it as well. I can add, of course, boxes or frames around nodes. And this is super helpful, for example, to create a background color for a node. You can, of course, toggle the boundaries. There's a button here and I can add or remove the boundary. Now you can see that the boundary that appears now looks different because you can customize boundaries. Every feature that is there in Excolidraw is, of course, available here to customize your boundaries. You cannot change the points of the boundary. So if I change the points, the next time the boundary updates, it will get the same shape. But I can change it from curvy to straight edges, and then it looks different. By the way, I can also do this with the style of the map. So if I open this here, I scroll up here, I can change the line, the connector types from curved to straight, and then you get a different look and feel for your map. So that's an option that you can do. And also you might notice if you use the earlier version of Mind Map Builder that now these connectors connect much better to the end of the nodes and it, I think it looks better. You can also add crosslinks, not sure you noticed, but here's a crosslink, which was of course hidden when this node was collapsed. Then the crosslink has no meaning if the node is then open again, then the crosslink is back. So uh, the crosslinks are also managed and moved together with the nodes. And I think a cool feature, and that comes from the fact that we are in Excolidraw, that you can format your nodes in any way you want. So I can take this box there and I can cha change the shape of it if I want to. I can change the font size and the font face, of course. When I do changes like this, don't touch the map, touch the rearrange button, and then Mind Map Builder takes care of everything. If you touch the map and you break the connections, then of course that is going to create an issue. And I'm going to talk about more of these tricks in the course. Now you can do some structural editing, and by structural editing, I mean moving nodes, which I already showed you. Uh, you can also move nodes by drag and drop. So for example, I can move the miscellaneous section to the right hand side. And when I rearrange the map, then of course uh, it is moved. There are again some tips and tricks here, because if I now ungroup miscellaneous like this and I drag it back, at first, you might be scared that what happened with those items and you might start to move them over. Don't. All you need to do is you need to press rearrange and it will bring everything to the other side. By the way, the right left map is a new type of map here. So we now have four type of auto layout strategies. And let's close this because we are not yet talking about that. Um, where were we? Yes, structural editing. Of course, you can pin the nodes, you can fold nodes, and you can also uh, edit nodes and change the types. When I say change the types, that was the story right here, that I can change the type by placing an exclamation mark here, making it an embeddable, and then I have the node here embedded. So that's a type change. It changed from text to a node.
All right, we have lots of configurations. I won't go into this. You can explore it yourself. I'm going to explain it in the course. Also under miscellaneous, uh, you can export your map to PDF and PNG and copy it to Excalibur. You can also use it with the printable layout wizard. I cover all of this in the course. I think as an overview, this is what I wanted to share. So let's open the entire map. So this is in a way the entire topic of the course. And now just to focus on, so what does the mind map builder course talk about why should you get it and where can you get it so you can click the link in the video description or just simply type this in visualthinkingworkshop.com slash mind map the course is really just a few dollars if you're an early bird meaning you get the course in january then at the beginning of february i'm going to be hosting two calls one for the Asia Pacific time zone, the other for the Europe, Europe, US time zone, where you will have an opportunity to ask questions live in a Zoom call. The recording of that is going to be included in the course. And I guess the question is, so why should you get the course? Well, I think first of all, you will get to support the ongoing development of Mind Map Builder and of Obsidian Excolidraw. You will learn the full power of the tool. There are many hidden features and tips and tricks that I built in. And in that way, you can skip weeks of trial and error. I think you can discover less obvious tricks, of course. And in the future, when I add new features to Mind Map Builder, I don't plan to issue a fourth video about mind map builder version 4 i'm going to be adding those videos to the course so that's how you can stay on top of the new features and that's all i wanted to share with you today i am super super excited about this i think this opens up so many new possibilities that it's unbelievable enjoy Mind Map Builder, join the course, see you on Zoom, and have fun with visual thinking. Thank you.